So I'm at the Arabic Tea House, the famous Arabic Tea House of Dubai, and I just ordered a big glass of camel milk. So, um, yeah, where else can you drink a big tall glass of camel milk except at the Arabic Tea House of Dubai? So, we're gonna see what this tastes like live. Well, not live, but you know what I mean. Okay. So, real quick, you know, camels are the mainstay of desert life, of life among Bedouins, uh, basically used for everything. A camel can live in the desert without water for uh, up to uh, something like two weeks in the summer and three months in the winter. So they're one of probably the most adapted animal to desert living. And so pretty much all elements of the camel are utilized, including of course using them for transportation, but also milking them, making various uh, dairy products, and uh, I believe also uh, eating their meat as well, uh, as well as um, their hides, the leather. So, uh, there's a long history behind drinking camel milk, and let's see how I like it. Well, it tastes like milk with a hint of a little bit of a strong flavor behind it. I guess a little bit like goat milk in that sense. Like, you know, you, it tastes like, you know, the, the cow milk is kind of sweet, Whereas this is, uh, it's a little bit less sweet, a little bit more like ro robust, if that makes sense. It has this, it has this um, distinctive, shall we say, camelish flavor about it. Um, I guess that's the best way to describe it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It doesn't taste bad, it's good. When I say it has a camelish flavor, I mean that I mean that in the best possible way for you know however you can interpret that in a good way. Um, I guess I could say it tastes very authentic. And uh, the only thing that would be more authentic is if I was wandering the desert, I was drinking it out of an old skin, and uh, if it was like, you know, room temperature, maybe that would make it a little bit more authentic instead of a you know, big cold uh, mason jar. Anyway, I'm in Dubai, uh, that's some camel milk. I recommend it, it's pretty good. Waiting for my entree here at the Arabian Tea House. Very famous place, people always told me to go here. So I'm splurging a little bit. Uh, really great dishes, lamb and uh, traditional spices. And yeah, this is, this is the place to go and here in the old town of Dubai. Get away from the hustle and bustle and the, and the banks, the endless condominiums. Come out to come out to the the old side of town. It's the place to be. All right, this is Cyrus the Explorer. Please hit that subscribe button if you like this stuff. I'll see you on the next video.